Hey guys, this is Real Appalachia with Melody and Shane and we are continuing on with our folklore series today and today Shane is going to be telling us about Strange Creek, West Virginia and how it got its name. It's strange name. It is. It's a strange story. It's a strange story about a strange name mm -hmm. in a strange land. And a strange man. Uh, yeah, a man who's a stranger, <laughs> guys, because we never met him. So, is there anything else we can do? Uh, yeah, this start, takes place in West Virginia. Mm -hmm. And, you know, back in the 18th century, as you can imagine, West Virginia, even now, is still pretty, in certain pockets, it's a pretty overgrown, and you know, there's a lot of yeah. uh, not forestry. Not heavily populated. Not heavily populated, you know. So, it would be easy, you know, to get lost and that kind of thing out there. Yeah. So this kind of story takes place back in the 18th century. There was a survey party that went out. Mm -hmm. And there was a guy named William Strange who was part of this party. He served as the cook mm -hmm. for these guys. So they get out there. And these survey parties back in those days, these were early settlers. So, you know, they're trying to gauge what, just to see what's out there. And so they get out there and apparently he gets split up from the group and can't find his way back. So they start form a search party and start looking for him. And for his part, apparently he just gets out here deeper and deeper in the woods. And long story short, they never do find him. And he ends up never, never land. They never knew. They never did know what happened to him. He just yeah. disappeared off the face of the earth as far as they were concerned. But many, many years later, uh, supposedly, I've heard a couple of different versions of this. Now, some one version says that his entire skeletal remains were mm -hmm. found along with the skeleton of his dog that was with him and his rifle was like kicked back against a tree mm -hmm. and he was found that way which is a little hard to believe yeah a little far-fetched because you got to think that maybe an animal or whatever would come and kind of yeah and we've also heard that maybe bone fragments were found yeah and a rifle was found in the vicinity and yeah then, you know certain and, things and my research for the tiktok and i don't mean to interrupt right, you here right, or anything right. but yeah i found several different stories and one was that about that he was propped up against a tree and the dog was laying beside of him at the tree and then the rifle and it's like yeah i mean i know that dogs are loyal but are they loyal enough to just lay by your side and starve to death instead of and then the other of course was that he didn't even have a dog that he had a horse that he took part what part of the way and the search party did find the horse but they never found him and years later it was bone fragments that was found and that does sound more believable that's what i was thinking like you said i mean how would the dog get there with him he's not you know i mean yeah I know what's it gonna they, do carry it on a horse i, I mean, mean yeah I just that seems a little far-fetched but it makes for a more sensationalized story exactly and, which is why these things are folklore and legends since there's no documentation no pictures it's exactly. just hand me down oral history yeah. yeah so one thing that is pretty much universally agreed though is that they did find that he had carved out mm -hmm. a little saying or poem i guess would you what you would call it when yeah it, a little poem a little poem that he carved out in a tree and it said strange is my name and and i'm on strange ground and strange it is that i can't be found yeah and i love that i don't know why it's catchy i know but, it's very catchy he's a pretty clever guy yeah fun, but <laughs> anyway that they found that near where those bone fragments and all that stuff and they kind of yeah. pieced the story together because apparently it was pretty well known <laughs> that there was a william strange who went missing from a search party yeah they probably assumed who knows back in those days you had indians uh, and you had um you could get attacked by wild animals there's all kinds of treachery you could fall off the side of a cliff or, mm -hmm. you know there's all kinds of uh, dangers out in those woods so they just didn't ever know what happened to him and yeah. then when that happened it kind of pieced that story back together so yeah. yeah and i read that that tree that they found it carved on was beside of a creek that was named i'm thinking it was turkey creek at the time yes. and when they found the poem they renamed the creek strange creek for this man and so then they ended up renaming the or named the community Strange Creek also to go along with the river that yeah, went through and river. for William Strange. Yeah, so it left I guess he yeah. left a lasting legacy if nothing else, right? Yeah, absolutely. But that'd be a bad way to go and I assume they think he starved to death probably. Yeah, I think that that's what the general consensus is of that. And I've also read some stories about these woods being haunted by William Strange now and then the more kind of outlandish story that he went out with his dog and that he was found with his dog and his gun later there was apparently a story told that this little boy lived nearby where his body was found and that he was out playing in the woods with friends got separated got lost and that he said a man and a dog 
and a, that was holding um well that sounds like the dog was holding the gun a man with a <laughs> no, gun and a dog yeah. <laughs> found him in the woods and said hey little guy we got to get you found out of these woods or something like that so some people have said that they see him still in those woods maybe helping now if you get lost but i wouldn't recommend going out into dense woods be a strange yeah. thing to see, wouldn't it? So it would be a strange, a strange thing to see. Theme. This is a strange what? story, but it's one of my favorite stories for some reason because it leaves a lot of imagination and yet simple, quick. Yeah. It's just something about it, and the poem, of course, I love that. Yeah, yeah, that's that's really neat, and I've also seen different variations of that poem too, yeah. but that's by far the best one. Yeah, there's yeah. Some more, more or less. Uh, rhythmic or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Still. And that's also the one that I've seen the most, so I think that that's probably more than likely the real one. Could be, or somebody spruced it up to make him look good, and that's fine too. It's that's just, true. Yeah. Sounds like you went out a rough way, so you might as well leave him a legacy, you know? That's right. Yeah, make him look good, you know? Yeah. I'm all about that. That's right. <laughs> Well, we hope you enjoyed this strange yes. story, and if you did, give us the, you know, tell them what they can do for us. Give us a thumbs up, and if you like this kind of thing, you like our travel videos, then subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on one. Thank you, guys. We'll see you in the next Thanks. video. Thanks.